Hello people out there, this is the Rebel Revolution, welcome back to my channel, welcome aboard the hype train for another War Thunder patch once again. Today we've had a teaser trailer drop for the new update which we can now confirm that is called uh, New Power. Uh, it's a minute long video with uh, quite a few interesting points uh, with some of the new vehicles. Uh, and new uh, mechanics as well potentially which we're coming uh, with uh, this update. We've also had a few dev blogs this week. Uh, the Lorraine 37L which is a, a French low tier uh, anti-tank gun. A new British light tank, the FM5 and as well as uh, the Flak um, Rack Rad which is basically Euro Truck Simulator. Very interesting vehicle that one but I'm not going to go too much into discussion with those uh, right now. Anyway what I'm going to do now is going to break down this one minute video uh, to take away the main points from it. I am going to be skipping some things in it because the audio vehicles which are in uh, the game and even though they look absolutely amazing uh, in cinematic form I don't need to cover them uh, in this video. I'm also going to keep it brief as well so not going to be too much in depth uh, with the new vehicles etc which are going to, you can pluck out uh, from this video but anyway starting off with literally a first couple of seconds in where you can fake out several ships coming towards you out of the smoke now for what i can determine from these these definitely look like capital ships definitely look like battleships to me now in terms of what kind of battleships they're going to be definitely can't take out from there the best image that i could pull out uh, from the video do look kind of dreadnought sort of class and so maybe world war one uh, leading up uh, to world war two whether we're going to have stuff like the bismarck in the game or like hood anything like that, which will actually be fantastic don't know yet and also whereabouts are these going to go in the tree as well because are they going to go after the cruisers if they're dreadnoughts are they going to go where like the world war one destroyers go really don't know and also if these are going to be get added in these are going to be massive very powerful ships and whether they're going to very much dominate the cruisers uh, at the higher BRs or whether they're going to be nerfed in some way or how the maps as well because the main problem with naval as everybody knows is mostly the maps and the UI and the fact that we're very too close to each other uh, when we're fighting each other so how are these going to be implemented in the game to make them fun and hopefully get people uh, more people to play naval we're yet to see, but still, very exciting. I'm very excited because it means now that I can hopefully do some cinematics making battleships and maybe a Bismarck versus Hood cinematic. That would be very nice to see. But anyway, moving on to the next point. Now, the next new vehicle in the video is something which has been requested by quite a lot of people and shouted about quite a lot uh, in terms of uh, new Russian vehicles. This is a T90 and it's probably uh, the T90A. You can tell it's a T90 because it has the active protection system eyes around the turret. Now, that is also potentially could be a new metallic as well because active protection systems basically try and camouflage it depending on what type it is against stuff like Hellfires. Uh, tow missiles, things like that, causing deterrent, which would be a new mechanic and more fun if that get added in. It'd be very nice in terms of being able to block things like Hellfire missiles from helicopters, uh, stuff like that. So whether that's going to be coming in this update, don't know. But the T90 definitely has those types of systems on board. We tried to say it like last patch with the laser warner, so this is more uh, the advanced of uh, those uh, types of systems very nice to see in the game and also because the t90 is coming to the game also leads me to believe that other vehicles will be also coming to the game to counter this kind of new uh, top tier modern vehicle now the next main point to take away is that the fact that there's new echo carriers finally coming uh, to war thunder after god knows how long of uh, using phantoms of world war ii uh, era echo carriers now in this video there's two different classes of echo carriers on the right we have a forester class american echo carrier on the left we have a british audacious class uh, carrier as well obviously these have like catapult systems and uh, angle to flight decks a lot larger carriers compared to the second world war here ones we currently have and game. really nice to see that finally we'll be able to do stuff like top gun cinematics hopefully so potentially potentially we might see things like f14 in this update never know might do but 
maybe considering that these types of aqua carriers are finally coming into the game. You can tell that I'm kind of excited uh, for this type of stuff coming. But anyway, new mechanic, new vehicle I guess, really nice to see. For the most part, not going to be the most useful, but still really nice that they're finally coming to War Thunder with this update. Now the next new vehicle uh, with this teaser trailer, potentially, don't quote me on this, could be a Leopard 2A6. It's very hard to tell from this teaser trailer what Leopard 2 this actually is. It could be a Leopard 2A5 or it could be a Leopard 2A6. Now the main differences between uh, the two tanks is the Leopard 2A6 has a longer gun barrel and the smoke launchers are set up differently along the side of the turret, but it's very hard to tell uh, from uh, this trailer what Leopard 2 it actually is. I like to think that with the 1990 coming that this is a Leopard 2A6 because that's the perfect counter to it. So I'm going to say it's a Leopard 2A6 but don't 100% quote me on that. Hopefully with uh, the T90 and Leopard 2A6 potentially coming we might see some other very modern vehicles as well coming with this update. Very nice to see that we're getting hopefully a Leopard 2A6. Now the next new vehicle revealed in this teaser trailer. Initially, I thought was a P-51 Mustang variant. However, after doing some digging and having a look at some pictures, I realized that this isn't actually a P-51. I'm pretty sure that this is a Supermarine Spiteful, which is the successor to the Spitfire. The reason why I think it's that, it has the, the Griffin engine bulges around the engine exhaust uh, spanner cannons, and also the air intake and the radiator intake as well. It's very characteristic of a Spitfire uh, slash Spiteful. So hopefully it is a Spiteful, which is absolutely amazing. Basically top tier British propeller driven aircraft around 6.7, 7.0. Are going to be very capable propeller driven. The Mark 24 Spitfire is already one of my favorite British aircraft. So very nice. Hopefully that we're going to get this in game. Now the last vehicle revealed in this teaser trailer is very easy to work out compared uh, to the last one. This is the Saab 105 or SK60 depending on the designation. It's a Swedish aircraft as you can very much tell by the markings on it. Uh, primarily uh, this is a military trainer aircraft kind of like say the Jaguar but it's been converted and it can carry hard points with the six of these to be able to carry bombs, rockets, gun pods, air to air missiles and expect this to go probably around 9.0 to 9.7 uh, battery rating. It's very nice that it's really going to get like a more a dedicated ground attack aircraft at top-ish tier and expect this to go after the A32A in the tech tree. Very nice to have and I'm definitely going to be grinding this out, take this out in my Swedish ground forces. Now I want to talk about finally about the last couple of seconds of the teaser video which are very interesting and bizarre of how this could possibly be implemented into War Thunder. Obviously this is some sort of nuclear weapon device being detonated. How this could possibly fit into War Thunder I generally have no idea. It could be maybe an alternate uh, game mode with maybe Cold War where it goes hot or uh, something like that. Or it could just be added in to the video, uh, to the teaser trailer, just to make it look a little bit more interesting. I generally have uh, no idea. I don't think, though, that we're going to be seeing nuclear weapons in general gameplay anytime soon. Because we just like the P8 on steroids and that thing is already uh, bad enough. But I'll let you know and debate that in the comments below. And in terms of my own personal opinions on this, I'm pretty excited for this update. There seems to be some new mechanics coming in. I'm pretty excited for aircraft carriers and I'll be able to hopefully be able to do some cinematics on other things maybe stuff like the f-14 could potentially be coming in this update and hopefully battleships as well so i'm pretty excited for that hopefully overall this is going to be a pretty exciting update compared to the last one which was definitely lackluster apart from the jaguar anyway let me know in the comments below what you've seen in this uh, teaser trailer, what you're looking forward to, and what also you're hoping is coming uh, with this update as well. But anyway, until the next one, please like, comment, share, all that good stuff, guys. And I'll catch you on the next one sometime soon. Bye!